The scope of the project is to ready the Pacific Northwest for a biofuels industry. So we have two main companies, Greenwood Resources and Zia Kim, and, and six academic institutions all working on either growing the feedstock or the, or the conversion process on ways that they could do things, do things better. There's a continual dialogue with the UW folks as far as uh, our goal. We have different clones, different Zurich Messick sites in order to determine what clone works best for what particular region, as well as our harvesting side of things. What will it cost to harvest? How will we harvest, manage the material upon harvest? The poplar is a, a great biomass source for, for the Pacific Northwest. Poplar trees grow very quickly, which is a significant advantage both for economics and sustainability considerations. The poplar trees are grown for about two to three years of age, chipped in the field and directly transported to Zia Chem's biorefinery. The trees regenerate themselves, they grow back from the roots, so it's a very sustainable growing process. This is two years growth. We'll have one more growing season, then we'll harvest, and that will give us good data regarding how much volume per acre we can generate and give us good data as far as the production cost per green ton or per acre. It'll be grown and produced locally, so there'll be lots of jobs, especially in rural communities, involved with producing the feedstock and converting that into the fuel. So the fuel that we'll be producing in this project is compatible with the existing infrastructure. You could, you could use it in your gas tank or a jet airplane or anything like right, right today. 